Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial. So in today's video we are going to be covering how we can create some background music and how we can get some basic ambient sounds going. Um, so we're going to add a piece of music to the actual level so that when we press play it will play and it will just repeatedly loop and it will play no matter where we are. And then we're also going to create a trigger box that while we're inside the trigger box we'll be able to hear some birds tweeting, hopefully. And when we leave, we won't be able to hear them anymore. So, I have two files here. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a bird sounds which I got from freesounds.org, I believe. Um, it's This particular file is entirely um, royalty free and it has no copyright. The owner has waived all copyright, so we can do what we want with this sound. Um, so I'm going to be using it here. This, you should be able to hear it as I'm just testing it out. And the other is a piece of music called Shadows of the Mind, which is from Machinima Sound. And this is a piece of music that has a free license, so we can do what we want with this as well. Um, except for sell it, we can't sell that, so don't sell this, <laughs> but we can use it non-commercially, so we're fine. So I'll leave a link to both of these websites uh, down below so that uh, in the description so that you guys can find uh, where I've been finding these sounds at. And then these have just been um, reconverted using an online converter to a WAV. WAV works better, and if the compression's wrong, then it's not gonna play. I mean, if we press, yeah, that's quite a loud, uh, quite a loud piece of music there. We'll probably turn down the, um, the volume on that one because I don't wanna blast your ears out. So, how do we get this to work? It's quite simple. So if we select the actual music file, we can right click this, and then we need to go to the top and we create a queue. And now we have the shadows of the mind underscore Q. If we open this up, you can see that all we have here is we have wave player, name of the track, and outputs to speaker. So what I'm actually going to do is the volume multiplier, I'm actually going to turn this down. I'm going to say maybe 0.3. And then inside of the actual wave player here, I'm going to just tick looping. And we'll quickly save that. And then if we just drag this Q into the level anywhere, it should autoplay. And it does, so it's doing what we want. However, that's still quite loud, so let's just turn it down again. Let's go to point one. There we go, that's a much nicer volume. So getting volumes um, to to do what you want, it's quite an a annoying process because you know you don't want to blast somebody's ears off. I mean, you probably can't even hear me right now. I don't know. Um, so there we go. We have that one. Now I'm just going to quickly delete that from the level so that we can... Oh, the cursor is being really awkward. There it is. I'm going to delete that from the level so that now we get no music, yay, um, because I'm actually going to do the same sort of thing with the bird sounds. So I'm going to right click this and I'm going to create a key for the bird sounds. Now inside this one, do I want this to be looping? Mm, I actually do. It's a, it's, this is actually a looping file, so if it gets to the end it should loop back around and you won't even notice that it's stopped. I'm going to turn the sound down to maybe... Actually no I'm not, let's, let's just test that out in the level. If I drag this out into the level, yeah, it's quite a nice volume already, so I'm not going to change that. But we don't want this to to autoplay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it in, I'm going to leave it in this corner. <coughs> Excuse me. And now, over in our details panel, we've got quite a few things that we can actually play with. So, we have auto-activate. We want to turn this off, so if we press play, we can't hear the birds, because we've turned off autoplay. The reason we're doing that is because we're going to have this be controlled by a blueprint. And the second thing that we could do is we can... Where is it at? Override 
attenuation. And if we override the attenuation, you see now we've got these orange spheres. Now, these are how far we can hear this from. So like the fall off distance, we don't want to be to have too much fall off. So we'll, we'll maybe see here. And then there we go. There we are. So it should be slightly fadier inside. So let's see, actually, we might not even need to use the the blueprint for this. We'll say auto activate. And now you see as we go into it. There we go. See, you don't even need any blueprint for this. I'd been reading somebody else's documentation earlier this morning. They did this through Blueprint, but you don't need to. Wee, wee. So, let's see. I mean, we could, if you only wanted this to play once, we could have a trigger box inside of this. That if you leave the trigger box, it it deletes the the object um, but I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because that's an easy thing to do and isn't really what we're in this little tutorial for so what I'm going to quickly do is grab this turn this down even further drag this in and then we can There we are. Now, it's worth noting that I do have my audio for my desktop turned down on this. I have my mic volume at regular level, but I have the the audio for the desktop turned down a little. Um, so you will get a louder result with those numbers than than I'm getting through the through the recording. So there you have it, that's how you can you can create very rapid sounds in, in the level. So say we wanted another one of these, we could say drag it to over here. Let's just get rid of the the music. My cursor's being very, very finicky today. There we go. So we've got one here. And another one over here. And they'll both just work, which is really cool. So you could do this for all sorts of sounds, um, or even music. You could do the same with specific music. So if you wanted to have an area where your music changes, you could do that. Um, so that a specific trigger box where a sound is will turn off your music. So. In fact, I'll show you how to do that so that then you guys can switch tracks around. So let's just create a trigger box real quick. So let's say box trigger. And then we're going to just. Oh, hello. Oh, in fact, trigger, trigger volume. Another box trigger. There we go. Nice and large. It's going to be hard for me to miss that, right? So we're going to go into the level blueprint. God knows what's already in here. <laughs> I think some of the... Oh no, empty. Cool. We're going to right click and we have the trigger volume already create, uh, already selected. So we can say um, begin overlap. And that's we'll choose it specifically for the trigger volume. And we'll say other actor, drag from this and we'll cast to our character because we only want the character to affect this. Now we're going to select our music which I believe I deleted so let's pull him in. There we go. We're going to right click in the level blueprint and create a reference to the music. Ah, come on. And we're just going to say fade out. And we'll just fade it out two so it'll take two seconds for it to fade out 
And then select the trigger volume again and we'll say end overlap. And same deal if we cast it to the third person character so only the character can, can actually do this. And then we get this and we fade in. And we'll say it takes two seconds for this to fade in. So now we should get our music. And if we head into it, it fades the music out. And as we leave, it fades it in again. Now, you'll notice there that was restarting the start time. So can we get uh, I'm not sure that we can time go away Facebook uh, If we get game time since creation and we plug this into here, that might allow us to continue it because it will check when the. So let's just test that. Might not work. I think it did. Yeah, okay, cool. So that works. That was a bit of a easy success for just winging this bit, wasn't it? So, there you go, that's how we can easily create just an area that will <clears throat> fade in and out your background music. So if you were to go here, and then you could fade in another piece of music. I don't have another piece of music ready, um, certainly not one that I would have the specific license for that I can use here. Um, so I can't show you that blending into another piece of music, but you could just have another music fade in at the same time. So you could say, um, let's see, in fact, if we create a, another one of these, boink, but we have this set to auto trade nope, and we go in, we can say, Get a reference to that fade in so we'll fade this in there we go and then on leave we'll fade it out just to show you guys how we can blend two different sounds so we should just get music and then if we go in we get birds and if we leave we get music so you go that's how you can you you'd have a different track in there so say like you want this to be your bus music area you go in here and then the music changes to oh my god it's the bus room and stuff like that so hopefully this has been helpful for you guys it's just a really quick basic way that we can use some different types of sound and different ways to get them to play um, and ways that we can fade in and out of background music while keeping its current playtime um, so that it doesn't have to start over. And yeah, that's it. I hope this has been helpful. I will see you guys next time.